until we can have a wall and proper security, we're going to be guarding our border with the military. He believes the border is unprotected, it's unsafe, uh, and so this is his way to find a temporary solution to what he thinks is a crisis. In coordination with governors, up to 6,000 Guard members will be deployed to our southern border. The, the Bush administration sent 6,000 troops to the border in 2006. That was partly in response to growing crime and fears about migration. We now have more boots on the ground on the southwest border than at any time in our history. And then the Obama administration sent 1,200 people in 2010. Also fears about growing violence in Mexico, especially right across the U.S. border, and concerns about drug trafficking and migration. What we've observed that the, the thicker the border, the more difficult it is for migrants to get across the border, the more they depend on organized crime. So the result here of increasing enforcement on the border is in an in a ironic way to strengthen the role of organized crime in trafficking of people, uh, of drugs and other illicit products. He requested $25 billion to build a border wall, and since uh, they did not give him that money, he says he wants to send the military to the border, in this case the National Guard, to protect the border while he waits and pressures Congress to give him the money he's requested. Troops cannot, by law, engage in law enforcement activities. So broadly speaking, it's support of the Border Patrol, state and local law enforcement. They can't detain, they can't arrest, they can't really engage in, in investigations. What they can do and what they have done in the past is being the eyes and ears of the Border Patrol. 